Hi guys, Will with the Wendy's here, Lance and Flo. We are out exploring today, and as you can see with the sign behind us, what we're going to be doing, and this nice lady over here, the ranger, gave us a little bit of background on this place, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty cool experience um, to be able to walk around the canyon and see some of the dwellings. Of... It's a bunch, too. Yeah, it's more than what I thought when I did some research online, so we're going to take you along on our adventure today. Okay, so we're heading to the actual trail that will take you around the canyon. And this is only a few minutes you're on pavement, but you have two options. You can kind of grin and bear it and go down the 80-foot drop and climb out and go around the canyon that way, which she said is a better option for the way the sun is shining, especially when it's early in the day like we are before lunch. Or you can go to the right, walk along the canyon, swing around, and then backtrack again. So if you do what we're doing, we're going to go 80 foot into the canyon and come out. It's two miles, Lance, yep. round trip. So, and the rest of it's pretty easy. Um, so we're going to show you these dwellings. Yeah, well... But this is the same time, these are the same people, the Pueblo people, same time frame, right? Yes. As the Mesa Verde. Um, if you look across, you can see some of the dwellings on top of the... Yeah. These are all built, the difference here from Mesa Verde is Mesa Verde, a lot of it was built within the canyon walls and the overhangs. And yeah, the cliff dwellings, yep. Here, they don't have that. This canyon here has the dwellings on the rim. And what else so it's is a in there? Different. Spring. There's a spring, which is why the, a lot of these were built in canyon areas because of the springs that they got their, their water source from. Yes. So. And they, she also made a comment that these locations of these dwellings, there is a beautiful view associated with it. Not only do they have a spring close by, but they wanted to have a feeling of they were out in the middle of nowhere and have that magnificent view. So we're going to show you what this is all yep. about, guys. All right, so we got excited when we came up here. Now we haven't gone down in the canyon. This is the beginning part. But look at some of these dwellings. Right on the We're going to show you from this view. I'm going to zoom in. There's part of one right here. There's one right there. 15 feet away. But look at that one way out there with the weird yeah. loopy thing whatever you want to call it roof it's just over the, over the 800 years it's eroded and fallen yeah, away and... it's pretty cool all right let's hit the trail yes so here's the trail we were talking about this uh, the first option you can get the hard part done where you're actually going to go down in the canyon so the trail's pretty much not too bad it's got rock and dirt This is beautiful again. And we get a little history lesson from the ranger lady. And um, and we get to see these dwellings. So you can see, we're, so, down now. we're going down. I'm going to let you go. All right, we're going down into the canyon and then we'll have to climb back out of the canyon. And it's the hardest part of the this trail, but so worth it. This is a cool trail. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, look goes up along here. yeah. All right, we were checking out these rocks and Lance made a comment that it kind of reminds you of concrete, but the rocks are little tiny pebbles and rocks are all embedded. Yeah, it's like, I guess it's like sandstone with all these little... Oh, yeah. Right. But this is the trail. It's a beautiful trail, by the way. Not too technical. I mean, you gotta. They did a nice job with uh, yeah, here's making the, it steps. And, make it look natural. And uh, I guess we go right here. Yeah. It's pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty. We came from there. And we're heading down, and then we'll have to come back up. So we made it through all the rugged rock and decline wasn't too bad and we're already in the canyon floor and now we're going to be climbing 
out of the canyon floor to get to the other side to see all the dwellings we get to do the full circle so if you are hesitant or not comfortable doing this part you don't have to you can go all the way around and then the only thing is you would have to come all the way back might be a little bit longer than two miles it's but a two mile loop so if you did it without doing this section it would probably be about three and a half miles total and guess there. what there's any how many people here oh, two a couple cars two or three cars so i kudos to me again right yep i found this place and uh wasn't sure what it was all about we did a little research online but this was a nice find okay we're climbing up out of the canyon and that's where we started where these dwellings are but they're right on the cliffside there on a rock just imagine the views they had all right so we did make it out it's not too bad they did a really nice job um, building the steps naturally in the trail you just got to look where you're going pay attention you hear them out of breath <laughs> Um, yeah, the, climb, the climb out was a little bit more quicker and steeper than the climb in. Yeah, but that's the hardest part you know to this. Is? 80 foot drop, 80 foot out. But this is why we did it. Look at this. It's just not yeah. it, only the dwellings, but the, yeah, the beautiful, beautiful rocks. I don't know if you can see Let me like, zoom in. these dwellings that are here. If you look all along the base of it, that's the only place you see small rocks and that's because that's the, from the old dwellings falling apart over 800 years yeah that that's what all that is because if you look in other areas where there aren't any dwellings you don't see those small rocks true see so that that's all the building material that they is use falling apart. yeah which is kind of neat just to imagine they were all placed there and now the reason these are you know, obviously they're in the weather. They're not like Mesa Verde where they were under a cliff dwelling, as they call it, a cliff hanger, whatever you want to call it, tucked away. Those cliff dwellings and structures are, you see a lot more of them. The park ranger actually said that because they're so well protected that they've actually found turkey droppings and they learned that they actually raise turkeys yes because the droppings are still preserved because they're undercover now these kind of yeah these have a little bit I mean they're just decomposing yeah. you know the weather and but it's cool to still see that there's structures out here 800 years yeah the Pablo um, community Pueblo. pardon Pueblo. Pueblo sorry I'm saying it wrong Pueb I have a terrible time with my accent. Pueblo. Pueblo. <laughs> Pablo. Oh, Picasso. Oh, Picasso. Anyways, that makes a joke. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to take you along, show you this. All right, we came up on this one. Literally, I'm not kidding, I'm not getting too close. You're literally right on the edge there. And look at this chasm. Oh, yeah. Right here. This rock I'm standing on. One day it's probably going to fall over. Yeah, and you're standing on it a dingbat. <laughs> but if you look at the base of this one. Yeah, it's, it's on a rock. They they literally built it with the same perimeter as the rock that it's built on. Oh, yeah, look at that. The curvature they didn't and all. They make it square. They didn't make it round. Right. They just followed that rock. Right. And you, know, you see all the little tiny yeah. rocks that are wedged in in between mm -hmm. the big rocks that I guess give them more support. So this is just so cool. Yeah, this was a nice find. I, for some reason, I just I'm gonna try to zoom in on this one since it's, it's a different angle of that dwelling. And that's where we came into the trail. Yeah. Where these people are sitting. Yeah, and you do this loop, so it's definitely worth going in the canyon and coming out. It's it's not that bad. And it was a nice hike. It was beautiful hike. The rock formations. Hopefully, I captured it with photos. I didn't film too much in there because of how. Uh, unstable the trail was. I didn't want to drop my nice video camera. Are you coming up on another one? Literally, all these dwellings are, I say, in off the cliff here in the canyon. But at one day, one day there was land there. Yeah, come out here. There's a, a little round tower down the. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Part of the structure. You can see the windows on this side of the Twin Towers. Look at that. That's beautiful. Don't go too close. See down here? Look. Let me get this one. The windows. Oh yeah, there's one there's way one down, down there. In the bottom of the canyon. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's a squirrel. Squirrel! Look, a squirrel. Squirrel. Here he comes. Here he is. <laughs> And there's that one. Oh wow, everywhere you look, they're yeah. hidden in the yeah, rocks. Oh, there there's there's one there. way over there on that rock they're ledge. All over the place, little you gotta really pieces. look. Oh wow, even way out there. Yeah. And this bouncing rock here, I don't know if you can get that Yeah, that. I got it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. So you can't walk, they got these uh, yeah, chains. fences around everything. You can't walk through them. No. But you get pretty damn close to them. Yeah, I'm gonna get zoom in on this one real quick. That one, this one's beautiful. Nickel, and then we'll see it from the other side. Yeah, and there's the that one. I just wanted to show you this is the trail around the canyon. Not too bad. It's rocky, a little sand. You know, it's not level, so you just you gotta pay attention and don't go too close to the edge if you're not gonna be paying attention. You go whoopsie. Okay, we're across the canyon here, but I think this is a pretty good shot of that dwelling on the cliffside there. That was a big building at one time. Yeah, I mean. The biggest one here. Pretty big. We can't go over too far because they actually have the trail marked and you don't want to go off trail. You want to preserve the land, the vegetation, Leave the no dirt. Trace. Leave no trace. But look at that. You know, all you hear out here are birds and chipmunks. No planes, no cars, no people, no kids, no nothing, no dogs barking. No. It's just absolutely quiet. Yes. Complete silence. Other now this dirt, way. since we're here and nobody's around, we, we're not sure what this is. We see it a lot out here in the desert. It's got to be some kind of growth. Yeah, if anyone knows, we're going to ask the, the lady ranger when we go back if she knows what this is. But obviously, do not walk on it. You stay. See the rocks? They mark the trail. You just stay with, on I the trail. <laughs> Some kind of growth in the dirt. And literally, I think there may be five people here. And I'm talking five people that we see across the way. All right, we got a little bit closer to these dwellings as we were coming down the trail around the canyon here. There's a really tall one there. Yeah. That one, that one's a big one. Here's another shot of this dwelling. It's one of the largest ones here that we've seen. It's pretty big. But no. if you look what I was talking about earlier with the debris field coming down the canyon wall, this one, has See. a huge, huge area that's been filled in. Yeah. So I can only imagine what was there 800 years ago. Yeah. Imagine you know, how then, big I mean, and all, tall. All of that came from up where the where the the dwelling is. That's that's pretty pretty. Amazing. Is that the square tower? The top yeah, of it. Yeah, behind the yeah the tree here. That's pretty tall. I was asking yeah. Lance if possibly that could have been a lookout tower or something. But we're heading over and around the canyon to that big one so. We'll, we'll get a picture it. of how tall it is. I'll have Lance stand there yeah. that way you guys pretty can big. or film it too. Here's the small. How tall was it at, at its time? I don't know. It had to be either very very tall or it took up a lot more area that's just fallen over. I know I think it was tall. See the rocks up the top? And I'm imagining that that big huge boulder that's within the debris field was probably part of the cliff there. The cliff and the cliff fell down along with everything that was right. built on it. That's what the park ranger was saying. Pretty cool. We are going to take some uh, what you call dirt roads. There was a dirt road that our GPS, our cell phone, Google Maps was trying to take us. So we asked the ranger and she said they take you back to four or five more dwellings. And they're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, so we're going to do it. Since we're here, 
We're going to do it. We already packed a lunch. We and got she snacks. She said that we can walk through those. Yes. So. Oh, wow. Look at this one. All right. This is Hoven Weep House. Hoven Weep. It's pretty cool. Yeah, round walls with square walls inside. Or yeah. square, straight walls inside with round yeah. perimeter walls. Just think, they were, they were all kind of close in proximity. A lot, you of know? The, a lot of the dwellings that we've been to, you can see where they've kind of patched them up and worked on them. You know, modern Trying. day, the ones here don't look like they've been touched at all. No, this looks... They really look like they've just, they just are what they are. It's just kind of cool. I'd, I'd rather see it fall apart than see people preserve them. Yeah. All right, we're on the other side of the canyon, and this is the square tower. And I got to be careful. <laughs> You're literally, there is no fencing or... Don't want to get a whoopsie. Yeah, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the rocks down there. Just be careful when walking. And the creek that she was talking about actually comes down through here. Yeah. That was their water source that And it comes came down, down in. into the canyon here. So we're off to the next dwelling. This is the one we saw across the canyon that way and it's pretty tall. Yeah, that's a huge one. Not just tall, but it took up a lot of area. It's yeah, it's it's big. And then it's got two other buildings that are separate. And a lizard garden. Yeah, and you got a lizard there. Oh no, he's kind of like saying, "I'm." It's my, it's my place. Yeah. I don't know if you could see him. He's just been there, hanging. He's probably sunbathing. But yeah, this is this is so worth doing again. As I said before, no one's here hardly. This is Hoven Weep Castle. Oh, there you go. Whoops, so, sorry. Hoven. That's why it's so big. It's the castle. It's got black. Skinny rock and Is that where they maybe cooked? I don't know. You didn't see the black soot or maybe a fireplace? I don't know. Something. Right here's the other side of these dwellings. It's pretty pretty cool to see them from this angle as well. And there's no way to really preserve these. They're out in the weather and the rain and the sun and but at least we got to see somewhat of the structures here. It's pretty, pretty cool. Plants down there. We're gonna walk around, do some more looking at these. We're I almost finished this trail. It wasn't too bad, easy. I have a heel spur still and was able to do this. Some really cool lichen on the rock too. Oh uh, yeah, we're trying to Orange find... Orange and yellow and like a lavender. Yeah, we're trying to find a cool rock that would have all the colors. I'm going to still keep looking. And there's cactuses and that's a beautiful cactus right there. We'll go over and film that for you. So if you want to come in and... Sure. There's some yellow and green oh, yeah. and brown and... Let's get some of that. Yeah, there's a little bit of the I'll purplish. Get, get this way so... Yeah. yeah, get our shadow out of it. We got all these little, little pools. Yeah, remember that. Similar to a hike that we did a couple months ago. Dead horse. Was that that? Yeah, it was dead horse. And then we got rain last night, so some of them actually have some water in them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You feel like you're on the moon yeah. sometimes. <laughs> and the rock formations. I'm and the yeah, I wanted to film that, show that that's to them. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. He's nice and perfect shape. Yeah. Such a variety of uh, greenery. Yeah. Okay, we mentioned this to you as we were on this trail. I'm trying to zoom in. Got to see some of these colors. Got the orange and yellows and greens and 
Is that purple? Yeah, kind Gray? Of lavenderish. Purple? Pretty cool rock right there. Yeah, this is this sounds pretty and cool. You got the black, like oozing looking stuff, whatever that is. Oh, yeah, this stuff. Kind of lichen or moss. Or yeah, we're not sure about, like, it looks kind of like a moss. But yeah, we thought we'd share this. It's pretty, pretty colorful, some of the rocks. Okay, as Lance is admiring his lizard friend over here. I don't know if you can see him, but he's really cool. He's kind of cool. He's spotted. I don't know if I can get him on this video, but he's brown with black spots and he's got stripes on his tail. Okay. There get he up is. on the rock where we can see you. Uh, if he climbs up my leg, we're in trouble. <laughs> Anyways, I came to show you. Oh, there, there he goes. He <laughs> he's a pretty quick little lizard. Oh, he is pretty. He's like a leopard. So I came to show you, this is this rocks that we've seen in Zion and other places. Hoodoos with the black on top and this is Varnish. just... Varnish. What's it called? It's called varnishing. Varnishing. But yeah, it's beautiful. Thought I'd show you this as we come around the canyon here, heading to the visitor center. Alright, we're making our way around and we've just wanted to give you a little view of this canyon, part of it. It's beautiful here. It's just so pretty. The canyon's actually a Y. A Y? It's kind of a Y canyon, yeah. They, they both, there's this canyon, there's another one over there, and they both kind of meet in the middle. And if you look way up on the point there, there's a, a dwelling that we went out to. Okay. So we went out to that like peninsula and then came back and then we're coming around. Over here the there's something part. like a little hideaway in there. Maybe. Little oh, baby one. Yep, we got all kinds of lizards. <laughs> Lance found a Yeah, Lance there's found a hand. beautiful one. I don't know if you can see him. Lance is fascinated with these little critters. <laughs> I want a whole bunch. He've been doing no we're not gonna have a lit Lance hey, Okay, the cool thing about doing the whole entire loop is that you get to see both sides angles of some of these dwellings and um, not just the back side or the front side you get to see pretty much all the sides so and like that round one up on the yeah. point there that's that point of the peninsula that i was talking about right so we, we went all the way around that way then we came down into this peninsula mm -hmm. and then back out and around this part of the canyon. So here's another dwelling here. And then there's that one I really like with like the hook thing, like overhang yeah. on top. That is pretty cool, that it one. It almost has a look of a, like a terrapin. Yeah, I was wondering if we, there's no other, we got to stay on the trails so we can't go too off. And then even the Twin Towers over there, you look at this side of it. Right. It looks like there was probably more built onto there that's fallen away. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just all around us. And and just imagine there was a thriving community here at one time. Right. Said so they think they, they think there was 500 people. Here, and in total lived. of 2,500, she said, between the other dwellings that we're going to go see. Right. We're going to take the Jeep to. It's a dirt road. But 500 um, in this. Just in this canyon. community, this canyon, which is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so we were, we were able to get a little closer to these dwellings on the op opposite side. You just wonder how tall these were at, at whatever time. I mean, they're and which one this is called? The boat boulder house because it was built into a boulder. So that's why it looks the way it does. Yeah. That was built. Must have been like into a, a boulder. Kind of a big open area. I'm just the how the heck did they it? dig it out? I mean, I just <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's I don't know. But I'm gonna give you a and little snapshot. All around this whole canyon, you see these chasms, like right oh, yeah. here, where you're you see all these rocks are gonna fall away yeah. over time. 
Yeah, that's why they tell you to stay on the trail because some of these rocks could give any minute. But look, the, the dwelling we just saw. I lost count of how many there were. It's a bunch. It's a lot. It's so worth coming here, guys. And it's not busy. You have very few people here. And it's you get up close and personal. You can't go inside of them like we did the one in Mesa Verde. But you get close enough to get the perception of the dwellings and how these people lived. All right, so we went back the dirt road. That and mud. And mud. There was just a small patch of mud and a Here. poor um, look, Ruby. Look out yeah. there real quick before we get back to the Yeah, I was going to go out uh, there when we come back through. Yeah, it's beautiful. But we'll try to get a little closer to. Here we are. We're only three miles off of the main road. And just as always, nobody's here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Just us. Oh, and wow. The there's ranger told us about this place. And said that we could, uh, you could walk through the, the ruins here. Mm -hmm. So we thought it was only three miles off the main road. We'll take a, take a peek. Easy path again. But look, they're right on the edge of these cliffs. Oh, wow, that's got multiple rooms. Uh -huh. That one's pretty cool. Now she said these, no, they got fences around them. So, yeah, we can't go inside of them, but. Um, or at least the big one there. Maybe they're trying to preserve that one more. Well, you know what, too, Lance? They're on the edge of a cliff. I mean, oh, I just saw an animal. <laughs> oh, wow. Things, wherever they are. This is beautiful. We're going to show you right here. Wow, look, look at, at this. Wow. Check it out. And again, this is right where the water comes through here. So yes, their source. That's where they get their water from. So... Oh, she lied. <laughs> well, be careful. She said we could walk through them, but... Well, maybe God, okay. you get a little closer to them. You still got to be careful. There's one over here. Uh -huh. Middle of nowhere. So and look, cool. there's a... Yeah. All right, so we're here on the other side, but Lance pointed out if you look real close in the side of this wall of the canyon, they have all kinds of little nook areas and where they built inside. Even way down in that in that overhang, you can see oh, where yeah. there's like block work. Oh yeah. There. Zoom in here a little bit and let's see. But you can also see where, you see where these ruins are here. Up top. All on this whole hill is nothing but rubble and down into so the canyon's they've already, rubble. So there was something that there. That was a big, big building there at one yeah, time. Yeah, well, you can see the remnants of that. Yep. Here's this, uh, right next to a, a boulder. Like the under the rock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and here's this one. This one's got, got several rooms. rooms yeah, let me see if I can get, maybe get up in there. What you see. Yeah. This and is. I forgot the name of this, but I'm gonna tell you in one second. This is Cajun. Cajun. C-A-J-O-N. Like Cajun food, but with an O instead of a right. U. Right. And look at this view. No wonder they built it here. Come <laughs> on now. These people really knew what they were doing when oh it came to gosh, building their... Look at that. Through that valley. I know. That is beautiful. That is epic. Epic, epic. Unbelievable. Yeah. And of course, like Lance said, coming up, I gotta be careful because I'm filming, but I'm also looking down. Oh, wow, Lance, look at that. <laughs> the little baby boy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Look at all the tumbleweeds there. <laughs> oh, yeah, tumble. <laughs> look, there's a whole pile over there, too. <laughs> yeah. But there. I wanna show you this view. Oh. It's just, it's epic. And we're the only ones here, as always. For some reason, we, we look for these kind of places, and it's awesome because you have the freedom to experience it okay. without hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. And another little tidbit of yes. info that we learned from the park ranger, if you look down here in the valley of this oh, yeah, canyon, that trough there, there's a concrete trough. Now, obviously, there wasn't concrete 800 years ago, but... Sorry, even, it's windy. Even up until somewhat modern time, 
the sheep herders in this area, because they have such a hard time getting water, had used the water that came down into this canyon to, to water their sheep. So that's somewhat new. Yeah, it's that's not, not used anymore, but it's, it's more modern than yeah. obviously 800 years ago. Yeah, this is pretty... Uh, pretty magnificent. Yeah, this was nice. She said there were a couple of ruins back here. It wouldn't take you long to get to because we're getting kind of tired when you're hiking. And uh, it's not too bad today, but it's still sunny and warm in the 70s. And we did some hill climbs, so. But that is just epic, that That's whole beautiful. valley. It's beautiful. Even in the haze. Yes. So I just wanted to show you the route that came back to the dwelling that we just looked at. It's only about, how far? A uh, quarter mile maybe. Maybe a quarter mile back. It's, do you need to be uh, just careful of if it, if it rained really bad right before you come because you could get stuck. This is pretty much a dirt road. And it's a muddy kind of dirt. Yeah, yeah. We went through a little Different tiny rooms. section and Lance's side of Ruby is real dirty. My side's clean. But uh, anyways, we're going to end the video here, Lance, today. It was, it was pretty cool. It was nice to do Mesa Verde first and then see this and just learn in the history. And, you know, it's it's just, I don't know, it's it's pretty crazy to think how people lived way, way, way back. So it was, it was enjoyable and beautiful and well worth it. Yeah, so this is the road coming in. So we're going to end it here. We just had a magnificent day, the weather, views, the, the ruins, everything about today. So keep on wheeling, guys, and get out there and explore.